Eddie, what do you reckon to our cameraman? Nice. <laughs> good, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, well, good. we're going to keep him. Okay. Where are we? Tell us. T tell a few thousand people. <laughs> we're on the chrome stand at Lambda 2023. 20, Excellent. And you're going to show off some of your best equipment. Yes, yeah, so we've got the new Forager, uh, four meter front mower, trail wrapper, and the GX all purpose trailer. Let's go. Come on, boom, keep up. You've got a lot of real estate going on here. Look at this. Yeah. New to the market is the 980 Forager, so it's got the V12 engine, which was in the 1180, it's just de rated slightly. Okay. Um, What's the market? Customer demand uh, bridges the gap between the 880 and the 1180. Um, so people that want the output but also want to keep fuel efficiency in mind. Um, so it does all of, has all the features of the 1180 just on a slightly de-rated engine. And, and who would be the typical sort of customer that would buy this? Uh, would, it, would it be um, AD plants? Would it be dairy? So would it be? It, it's, a, it's a mix. You can go into, we've got dairy customers, we've got people that do stuff for AD. But it gives you the flexibility to do a bit of everything. Yep. Um, so we think it's going to be uh, going to be quite a good seller. Okay. How many years of the development is that? Oh, well, the Forager has been in development for over 20 years. Yeah. Uh, the 980's come about over probably the last 18 months. Yeah. Yep. As I say, all the technology is there with the 1180. It's just the engine management to bring the bring the power down to a slightly cheaper and more of an entry level V12. Yep. Are you proud of this? Oh yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. next one. Right, four meter mower. Four meters. Four meters. I just, I just visualised that. No. Not just four meters. The end sections hydraulically fold back to bring the uh, transport down to three meters. So uh, it gives people the option or the to go for higher output with the triples. Yep. The rear ones can work out slightly wider. Yep. You need a wider front mower so you don't get any stripes. Yep. So this does it. So a huge amounts of flexibility. Flexibility, output, people looking to do more and more with one man, one tractor. Yep. Um, horsepower of these tractors is gradually going up, so yep. this will give everyone the uh, yeah the output and the power they want to knock some grass down. I've, I've got some of my friends whispering in my ear, ask Eddie about spares, because there's always, always attrition, there's always wear, wear and tear, especially on some of the land we have in the UK. What, what is spares? What's spares availability like? Spare, spares, we keep all our uh, spares at Micklefield in near Leeds, yep. and we've got just over £6 million pounds worth of uh, spare parts in stock. Yep, okay. And, and manufacturing wise, for those who don't know, what's the background to the business? Where are these all made? These are all made in uh, northwest Germany, Speller. Yep. Uh, Krone, some of you might know, has been going since 1906. Yep. Um, I was at the factory a couple of weeks ago. They're constantly um, uh, developing product, but they're also increasing the capacity of the factories. There's a couple of new factories coming online, Is there? Uh, a new parts distribution. Yep. So, yeah, really investing for the future. Yeah, so again, a, a, a brand that shouts, screams stability, but, but also you're very strategic. You're looking forward to the future. Looking, very much looking forward to the future, investing for the future. Yep. Um, and also investing in staff as well. Yep. Okay, what are you next proud of? Uh, the new trail wrapper. The new trail wrapper! Trail wrapper, so we are. So we've had the wrapper units uh, on the combi balers for a good number of years now, but it's only recently we've gone to separate units. We've got a mounted one. Uh, but on the trailed one, the 165T, uh, this will enable us to do uh, bales up to 1.6 metres. Um, twin arm system, um, all the usual auto load if you want it. You'll do auto load, auto wrap, auto set down. Um, yeah. So, so he, 40 he, RPM, so it's quite a quick machine, high output machine. So we have a lot of people who don't understand why do we need such, such a piece of equipment? What's the benefit of wrapping? So wrapping is on the side is you're preserving the quality of the, of the bale that you've just made. Yep. So you want to keep it in there so you get better quality silage, better quality silage, better yep. food for the cows. Oh, then coming back to a specific farming question, this, this, it's, it's all about efficiency, it's all about timing. So again, I presume you and your colleagues have worked to the inch of, of, your, of your lives to make sure that this is an uber efficient machine, uber efficient in the field. Uber efficient, simple to use from an operator's point of view, but also you can see we've got strength in the chassis and all the main working bits. Yep. Uh, as I say, it's a twin arm system. We'll go at 40 RPM, so you've also got the output there. So if you turn up in the field, lots of bales on the deck, you 
the two and get them out before the weather closes up. And, and what sort of um, horsepower, what sort of tractor would be ideal to pull this? This doesn't need a big, big high horsepower tractor anyway. Um, it's all done through the, uh, through the load sensing system. Um, controls the size of us through the tractor terminal yep. we can supply it with the terminal. Um, so yeah, simple to use. Boo, just give it a quick whistle around so we can have a look at it. Eddie, what are you next proud of? Next one, the GX multi-purpose wagon. Multi-purpose, multi-purpose wagon. So, we've had the forage wagons. We have the forage wagons with the chopper units in the front for years, like the MX next door. But this is a, a new to Chrome. Um, as you know, Chrome, in the trailer business, on the truck trailers, number two in Europe. Yeah. Very, very big, masses of units. Yeah. Okay. So we've brought some of the technology onto this. So this can take root crops, grain, oilseed rape, yeah. as well as um, a host of other things. You can, it's uh, triple axle as you've got here, for people that want to uh, put a lot of heavy things in there. You can get it as tandem. Uh, the hydraulic compensator as well, so the axles work together to keep Keep yep. balanced. So, so Eddie, who would be your typical sort of customer for this? Contractor, large scale, farm, estate? It, it could be all of those, yeah. yeah. Um, there's some people um, in some parts of the country where they'll have big trailers like this, just running in the field from the harvester or yeah, whatever, okay. and then coming to the edge of the field and unloading it, maybe into an unloading system, into trucks yep. or to another yep. uh, vehicle. So they're keeping the, uh, keeping the mud in the field where it should be, rather yep. than on the road. So, very good system. New to us in here. We're going to get out of the back this year with it and uh, get it demoed with certain people yeah. and get their feedback and see where we go from there. And, and, and it's a difficult question, lifespan of one of these, because it must be very difficult as, a, as such a professional engineering company as yourself, you want to make something that's going to last a long period of time. But you obviously want uh, far, farmers contractors to, to, to spin them, to, to buy a new one every two, three years. But well, well, I don't know whether you buy one of these every two or three years, but it's, it's like a lot of things. If you look after the kit well, it will last you a lot longer. Yeah, OK. Um, Especially when you can't, you know, you spend a lot of money on any of this kit now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So we know that you've got a great brand in the UK, in, in Europe, and, and internationally. But if, if farmers aren't overly aware of you, why should they be associated with you? Why should they buy your product? Come on, give us the elevator pitch, Eddie. Well, <laughs> well, we are we always we specialise in hay and forage equipment. That's all we do. We don't do tillage, we don't do ploughs, we don't do sprayers. Yeah. This is solely what we're focused on. It's what the factories spend all their time developing. Yeah. Um, and like I say, all the machines on here now, they've all started off, they've all been developed, we've all got the latest technology on there, based on customer feedback. It's what the customers want. Yeah. So with the Forager, we've brought that to the market, that's yeah. what they want. They want that kind of power, but they still want to be fuel efficient. Yeah. And all the kit on the stand has been developed with the end user in mind. And you, you've, uh, you, that's what worked so well, because the, the, the farmers I know who uh, use your kit, when I've asked them what they think is so good about your, your equipment and your brand, is the feedback, you listen to the feedback. And, and there are some manufacturers who don't, and, and, and what you do, and that's why you develop such exceptional pieces of kit. We do. We do hear some customers going back with some weird and wonderful ideas, but <laughs> uh, I guess you're always going to get that. But generally, yeah, positive feedback we can we can work with. Okay, so a brand to be aligned to, a brand to be aligned to for the long term. Absolutely. Excellent. Absolutely. Eddie, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. No problem. Thank you.